I found peace when I decluttered my life. I'll never forget the overwhelming feeling of dread that I had in 2008 during the recession when I realized that I would need to sell most of our family's belongings in order to pay bills. My possessions were my identity. I felt as if a piece of me was disappearing with each item sold. I felt incredibly vulnerable, timid, and scared. Like my protective armor had been stripped away. One would think that having a clutter-free and sparsely decorated home would make me feel lighter and happier. But the opposite was true. That first year, all I wanted was my stuff back. I was completely out of my element without my things. It took a long time for me to dissect why I was so upset over selling my belongings. Telling myself, I mean, they're only objects after all. Or did they represent more to me? The self-questioning allowed me to investigate the meaning I was putting on my possessions. The meaning of things lies not in the things themselves, but in our attitude towards them. The recession was the best thing that could have happened to me. It took a life disruptor to remove my emotional blindfold. For the first time, I could see clearly. By looking within, I learned so much about myself. During this time of self-discovery, I found that I had been using my possessions to serve my emotional needs. I felt lost because I didn't know what my value was without the material things. I had always viewed success by the car I drove, the home I lived in, and the stylish clothes I wore and my kids wore. Due to my traumatic childhood, I didn't value myself very much. Therefore, my self-worth was attached to these things. But when I lost most of my stuff, I was forced to find self-worth from within. I needed to build my confidence in the attributes I embodied instead of using my possessions to bolster false self-esteem. I learned how to accept and love myself regardless of what I owned, what I wore. I was enough. Selling most of my possessions left me feeling incredibly vulnerable. My things made me feel safe. They had become my emotional shield. Subconsciously, I had been using my things as a barrier between me and pain, a trauma response. All of my material objects became a marker of safety and security. I saw my things as consistent and reliable. They would never let me down. Surrounding myself with stuff was a mental distraction that caused more anxiety and chaos. It did not bring me calm, peace, or happiness. Clutter invited chaos into my life. It fueled overwhelm and prevented me from dealing with my past pain and trauma. The reality is that I needed to let go of the clutter to heal 
from my past trauma and my current chaos. As I look back, I see how much energy I wasted trying to impress others, distracting myself, and prove my value through my purchases. Clutter creeps into our lives in various ways. It's not only in material objects. Decluttering the things that no longer serve me in all areas of my life create space for what really matters. Over the years since those powerful realizations, I have become more aware of the things and people in my life. I'm mindful of why I purchase items, how I use my time and where my energy goes. I'm discerning of who I spend my time with and allow into my life. I'm continually working on decluttering my thoughts and reducing overthinking. I focus on the present and ground myself in today instead of engaging in a mental loop about the past or worrying about the future, accepting that I cannot control situations outside of myself and release frustrations by attempting to do so. I align my choices today with the ideal person I want to be and the life I wish to live. Feelings of contentment, calm, and peace are always at the center of the vision for myself. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a beautiful day, my friends.